Okay, this can be silkworm breeding part one. So I kind of did it backwards, but I can go from here. So you have silkworms, and once they get large enough, um, they're going to morph out if they're not fed off. So these can get a little bit bigger than this. They're basically about the size of my index finger. Um, they can get a little bit wider depending on the worm, but basically they'll turn, start turning brown, shrinking down, and then they're going to start cocooning. So, see this, this one's getting ready to do it next, but see this one? He's starting to build a cocoon. This one built the cocoon last night, so now he's completely cocooned up, and um, that's the next stage that they get. So, they've got silk all the way around here with their webbing and all this stuff that you'll have to clean off, but I'm going to try to do this here without making a big disaster area. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing right now. Um, okay, so we're going to get this mess off of here so the other worms don't get tied into it. So, there's a cocoon. I'm going to clean it up later. Um, but I'm going to put it over here where these other ones are. Now, I have some over here that have eggs on them and different stuff, but they're just sitting here on this paper um, as they do that. So, I'll clean these ones up later so that the other ones don't get caught up in this mess of silk. But that's your silk basically, in the cocoon itself. Okay, so, get my coffee stuff out of the way. It's early. <laughs> it's like, I think it's 7 in the morning. We're going to let this other guy here continue doing what he's doing. I'm going to get on to the next part of it. I don't want to make this video too long, and I hope I didn't mess up his thing. Okay, so these guys are out of the way. They're on their mulberry food, and they're going to get back to eating and doing whatever they're going to do for today. Okay, so... That's stage one. So you grow them out, they get that big. They're gonna morph, okay? So then the next video will show what they come out. So they come out, they make a hole in the things they come out. Um, when they come out, they're gonna breed, lay eggs. But the final part of that is, so the beginning and the end are in one here. So they're gonna breed, they're gonna lay eggs. You let the eggs sit out, and the eggs turn from this, is what they've laid. Right, I date them just in case. Let them sit out, and while they're sitting out, they're going to turn brown. Once they turn brown, you know they're good. Put them in the refrigerator. You have to incubate them before they become any, or I mean, make them cold before they come um, any good to hatch them. Anyways, put them in the refrigerator for a while, and then when you're ready to hatch them, you take them out, you put them in the incubator, and they hatch into little tiny guys. Now these guys are almost a week old. If you can see some of these teeny, teeny, teeny ones down here. I mean, they're basically itty bitty ditty tiny things when they hatch out of these petries. So you start feeding them, you start growing them. So that's phase one. Basically shows you what they look like as worms um, and what the eggs do. So you're gonna go into two Video two and three over here, it's going to show you the breeding process of raising silkworms. Alrighty.